What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today we're going to be unboxing another vacuum cleaner. Now, this vacuum cleaner, first off, I will say that it definitely is a vacuum, because it's been marked as such, which is nice. It's also been marked as fragile, and the box is also tore open, so I'm not sure if this is bad packaging or if this is just the post office not listening to the obvious label on the box but either way it looks like it arrived safely but we'll judge that whenever we take it out of the box this also answers the question of what store can I get boxes from apparently Home Depot in, in addition to Lowe's which is nice because that means I can get boxes but you know I wish they had like unbranded boxes not with like the weird logos on them Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open this up and see what it is. So, grab our lovely box cutter. That should work. Oh, wow, this is the box is falling apart. A lot of cardboard, some Coke wrappers. Hey, at least it looks like it's keep kept the vacuum safe. So we have a handle, which has gotten dusty from shipping, no big deal. So we've got a handle of some kind with a, ooh, with a turbo brush that has like a little red speckle on it. That's kind of nice. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but I like that. That looks interesting. So. Then next we have a vacuum cleaner. Now, most of you collectors can already tell what machine this is. And I got this in a trade with Vacuums and Carpet Cleaner Guy, also known as Marco. I guess I said that backwards, but you get the point. Here's a hose. Very nice. And here is a vacuum. And is that everything in the box? It appears to be so. Okay, so now we'll put all this stuff, packaging, back in the box and see what we have. So now we're just backing out the screw that was inside this handle. Obviously very nicely put into the handle, just like many other machines that I buy, so that way it's nice and taken care of. You can see here's some, some dust on this machine. But nothing, a little bit of a cleaning won't take care of. So now we take this handle and we slide it forward just like that. Very easy. We take the screw, put it back in here, and then, oop, screw it back in. Just like so. Until it is completely tight. There we go. So that is firm on there. And now, 
this little crevice tool popped off. So that sits right there. And then finally we have the hose, which clips on right there. Again, a little bit dusty. It's got some like this weird like sand dust, which is interesting. Nothing a little cleaning can't take care of. And shut up, Google. I'm not talking to you. And this hose looks a bit odd. Is that supposed to? Hmm. This hose looks a bit funky. Wondering how does this just lock in? Give me a sec. All right, so the hose is in place, and if we remove this, you can see the sticker right there. Hoover Cleaner, model U55 07900. So U55 07900. And it says 13FA. So does that mean this was made in 2013? If so, I did not know they made these for that long. I'm not really sure how to serial date a Hoover. But this is obviously a Hoover. Which Hoover is it? It's the Elite Rewind. Now... I do already have one of these, but I don't have this version. I don't have the older style Elite Rewind. See, this one's got some scuffs on the front. It's not an amazing shape, but it does look decent. The bin was obviously cleaned out. And the front of it was... Well, it probably was wiped off. It probably just got some sort of a weird speckle on it from shipping. But we can see we have the automatic cord rewind, a 24 foot cord. That's weird, 24, not 25. That's interesting. So, bagless with easy empty dirt cup, pet here cleaning tool, airflow indicator, deluxe stretch hose, and wide path cleaning. Appears to have all the attachments, unless, um, I would have thought this would have had an extension wand with it, but, hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like that crevice tool fits there properly, so. I'm assuming that has all the attachments. Obviously it has all the major attachments. You know, the upholstery tool, crevice tool, and the turbo brush. We have the lifetime hep filter, which, as we know, is not exactly lifetime. Very similar to like a Dyson one, but this one's in good shape. Nothing really wrong with that. So, I got this in a trade with Marco, also known as Vacuums and Carpet Cleaner Guy. I traded this for my Dirt Devil Broom Vac, which some people may say is a bad trade, but it made sense because he wanted the Broom Vac and I wanted this thing. So, yeah. yeah that's what I did. So, yeah. Check this out a bit more. It looks like I could maybe... I mean, he's obviously cleaned it up. The brush roll's in good shape. Feels like it has a good belt on it. So, I shouldn't have to completely strip this thing apart and refurb it. I should be able to get away with just maybe s scraping off some of these paint marks with a abrasive sponge, giving it another little wipe down with some cleaner, and it should be good. It should look really nice. But yeah, this nice little yellow brush roll. Now, this isn't the exact version of this machine that I would ideally want, but I still went ahead and did the trade because I did want one of these. The ideal version that I want is the deluxe blue variant, but I do kind of like this red and yellow variant as well. Uh, this one's this one is kind of nice and quirky, but yeah, so I do like this machine, or at the very least, I did want this machine. 
So obviously I've only had it for a couple minutes, so I can't exactly determine if I like it or not. I don't think I'm going to end up liking, oops, sorry, I don't think I'm going to end up liking this as much as the newer Elite Rewinds, because I know that this does have, this model, not this example in particular, has some minor durability issues regarding the bin flap and a couple other pieces, but you've got this little filter right in here, which I'm not even going to bother to check that. I mean, it looks like it was cleaned out nicely, but yeah. So, we'll put this together and some of this stuff spilled out of it. So, we'll put this together and uh, give it a run. So, here's a look at this filter. It is nice and clean. It doesn't look new per se, but it does look like a lightly used one. One that's in good condition. And I just noticed, I'm pretty sure these things are like little scent tabs. I'm pretty sure this is like what you would get in like a... Um, not fabric softener, but... Uh, some sort of a freshener thing, like some sort of a freshener tablets that you put in like laundry. You know what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to explain because I'm not very familiar. I don't use these things usually, but that's that. So it is kind of funny how this snaps together. The, usually this filter would snap directly into this, but it doesn't. It just sits there and then this housing snaps over it and holds it in place. Very bizarre. But interesting nonetheless. So again, it has that push release on the back. So we'll put this together and check it out. So one thing that's a bit odd about this particular machine, I don't know if it's because this cord's been replaced or if it's just this machine. There's no like cord marker. The cord just stops. There's no, because usually a cord rewind will have like a yellow and a red marker to tell you when you're about to run out of cord. So you don't end up, you know, yanking the thing and ripping the cord out of the machine but uh, this doesn't have that so we're gonna push that out of the way and we'll give this little thing a run also that doesn't appear that is that doesn't appear to be 20 is that 24 feet I don't know if that's 24 feet okay so, first, first try of, did I get that screw in all the way? First try of this little vacuum.
well, those little scent tabs definitely do make a difference. Whenever I was vacuuming those up, it smelled really nice. And then now that I'm done cleaning it out, it smells like, like just normal vacuum. Maybe they're like one of those like motion activated things? I don't know. How do you like the new vacuum rubbers? Do you like it? Hi. You're really close to the camera. Do you like it, Rubers? Ruby, do you like the vacuum? Here, let me get that for you. Here. Oh. Come on. There you go. Scritch, 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 scritch. Oh, shake your hair all over the place after I just vacuumed. I guess I'll have to vacuum again. Oh, hi. Yes, hi. <laughs> Do you like the vacuum? Do you like the Hoover Elite Rewind? Well, are you going to answer my question? I see. You're looking at me like you're trying to sneak your way out of this. I asked you a question, ma'am. I want you to answer it. Fine. Oh, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Do you want a vacuum? Get some hair on you. I wish you'd let me vacuum you. You won't let me vacuum you. Let me vacuum the hair off you. Oh, hi. Hello. Yes, hi. Yes, that, that's my hand. Okay. Anyways, so, this Elite Rewind, uh, it does work. So, thanks Marco for the trade. Hope you enjoy the broom vac, even though it does need a little bit of work with the fan. But, I mean, you know, one of these for one of those in their respective conditions seems fair. Like a fair trade. So, the only other little issue that I seem to have found with this, which isn't an issue with the vacuum itself, but this little attachment. Oh, I can't, can't get that out. So, this is actually taped together. I'm not sure why that is. It's not too big of a deal. But eventually I'll want to get an actual... Uh, set with a good one, but like I said, I'm gonna get the blue. I want to get the blue one anyways So I'll probably just try to find the blue one with all the attachments and that should be sufficient for the collection So there is someone on offer who had a blue one, but they're even though they have it set up for shipping I hate it when sellers do this when they set up they deliberately select shipping as an option in their listing and then when I try to ship, they're like, oh, no, it, no I'm sorry, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like shipping. It's like, what do you mean? Why would you set it up for shipping? You're telling me there's a pandemic going on? You don't want shipping to be an option so you don't have to meet people in real life? It's the best part about shipping. You don't have to meet people. So, this thing works rather well. And this type of filter really seals in there. Um, obviously it's got some dust on the outside of it, but I'm not sure how much that is to blame of the vacuum and how much that is to blame of just the traveling that it's gone through. But this thing obviously cleans very well. Like, it obviously pulled up a lot of fine dust and, you know, like look at all that. I, I, have, I had recently vacuumed this thing with the Phantom, with that Phantom, uh, quite a, almost every day since I got that phantom I've been vacuuming with it every day this living room and this machine has clearly pulled up a lot of stuff that that was leaving behind because a lot of this fine dust and grit doesn't seem like it would have been doesn't seem like it would have been a day or actually two days of of non vacuuming because I've used other machines you know two days off and it had, they haven't pulled up that much stuff. So, 
first impressions are definitely positive. I'm definitely impressed with this machine so far. Now it'll be interesting, I don't have any of my newer Elite Rewinds with me at this house. Either of mine, I should say. So, it'd be interesting to pit them head to head, because I don't think anyone's done a video comparing the old and the new style Elite, Elite Rewinds. I don't think anyone's done that yet. So, I've obviously done the review on the other style. So if I do a review on this, I may do a little comparison of the two. And also, part of the reason why I got this is, even if this wasn't something I wanted to add to my collection, there's something I'm definitely interested in, and there's very few like high-quality videos on these out there. Other than Panasonic Vax video on this, and of course the like the occasional Fan of Vacuums 2 demo of this, there's not a lot of like really good high-quality reviews out there on this machine, because usually they're either from people that, albeit are good reviewers, just don't have, you know, really good cameras, and then also like older videos, like from Phantom Lightning's like first few videos where he shows this off, you know, pre-HD, pre-puberty sort of thing. <laughs> so uh, as far as modern videos on this machine, on these machines, there's not a whole ton out there. Again, General One did a video on this. But, again, nothing, there's not much that really exists nowadays. So, for those who've been wanting to see a video on one of these machines, here you go. So, that is definitely nice. Again, that's kind of candy red. It's almost, it's almost like a dirt devil. It looks like a dirt devil, the way it's in the candy red sort of color scheme. But, no, it's a Hoover. But yeah, so like I said, I do want to find the deluxe blue edition, like the turquoise blue and gray one. So that is next on my list. Not necessarily next, but it's, if I do get one of those, then I may put this one up for sale. But for now, uh, I did want one of these, and it was kind of like an impulse trade. So, because a lot of people wanted me to keep the broom vac. I don't have any interest in the broom vac. I'm sorry. I have plenty of old school Dirt Devils. I have the Swivel Glide. I have the classic Dirt Devil Upright. And there's a couple others I'm still wanting to get, like a Feather Light. And uh, like the original, like Feather Light bagged and bagless. So, you know, I have plenty of Dirt Devils in my collection and still have a few on the wish list. So, you know, I have my Dirt Devil Eye that I need to fix and I want to get a Dirt Devil Reaction uh, as well. And envision. I don't think there's much else that I want to get. It's Dirt Devil. At least not that I can think of off, off the top of my head. But Dirt Devil always has a lot of weird, quirky machines that you can never remember. That collectors can never remember actually existed. Like, does anyone remember that cone thing that they had? Whatever. So, this Elite Rewind definitely works, and I'm definitely happy with it. So, I'm satisfied with my end of the trade and or with my receivance of that trade with Marco so definitely happy about that so if you want to see more machines like this go subscribe to vacuums and carpet cleaner guy if you want to see other kind of machines he gets in a ton of machines he does trades with other people and stuff like that um so that's kind of cool and I also may be getting some backs soon from braze vax but we'll see how that goes that's kind of up in the air and there's a few collectors I may be getting machines from, and there's also that Vacuum Store episode of Vacuum Saved is still in the works. It may be put on hold because obviously bills take priority to buying vacuums, but we'll see how that goes. So, again, plenty of new videos to come. It's just a matter of which ones you actually see in what order. So, anyway guys, this is Intelltech Studio signing out with my vacuum acquisition of the... Hoover Elite Rewind, older style, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have one of these machines, uh, let me know what you think of it, because I'm definitely curious to see, and I'm also curious to see how many of these things are still running after the, you know, couple decades they've been on the market, maybe not a couple decades, but the uh, decade, decade and a half or so they've been on the market, because I think these these came out in what, like 2006, 7, 8? I know they were out in 2008, but I'm not sure if they were out like a year or two before then, or when did these finally get discontinued? I'm unsure.
machines have a bit of a rocky history, despite them being relatively popular. So, yeah, this is Intelltech Studio signing out with another vacuum acquisition, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.